Hi, this is Travis from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this clip on the Political Voices Network. So much for the fake wrongdoing. Let's get every drama sting ready. <laughs> for the real wrongdoing and why I'm wearing my Merry Christmas shirt. Maybe. Oh, it feels imminent. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Oh, my goodness. Huh. So we mentioned yesterday... Trump's lawyer in the documents case quit. So that could mean flippy, flipper, flipper. Could he, I could be because he's a witness in the obstruction. Don't I know. That or one, maybe just this... was tired of this ish. Yeah. BS. <laughs> yeah. This I've had enough of this. Ish. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's a, a lethal weapon. I'm getting too old for this. Uh-huh. However, Winky dink or no, the National Archives has informed Trump yeah. it is set to hand over to special counsel Jack Smith 16 records which show Trump and his top advisors had knowledge of the correct mm-hmm. declassification process while he was president. Oh, my. Okay, I think we're good now. Okay. Thanks. All right. I don't think All right. we're good. Okay. The 16 <laughs> records in question, the letter said, all reflect communications involving close presidential advisors, some of them directed uh, to you personally concerning whether, why, and how you should declassify certain classified records. Uh, the 16 records may provide critical evidence establishing the former president's awareness of the declassification process, a key part of the criminal investigation into his mishandling of classified documents. Um, helpfully, because he is such a helper, he really is a legal helper. At the CNN town hall last week, he repeated the claim that by simply removing the classified documents from the White House, he had declassified them. You know, magically. No, that's not yeah. how it works. And some doves came out yeah. and some colorful scarves. Yeah. Um, he said, by the way, they automatically become declassified when I took them. Computer says no. Nah. Trump tried to block the special counsel from accessing the uh, 16 records by asserting a claim of constitutionally based privilege, which is not a thing. No. Not a thing. Oh. Just so you know. Okay. Yeah, point me in, in the Constitution where that no, is. Uh, no. Not a thing. Okay. Not in there. Okay. okay. Not in there. All right. Um, In the CNN town hall last week, helper, legal helper. He's he almost like a paralegal at this point. Yeah. He misrepresented the Presidential Records Act, falsely claiming he was allowed, I'm allowed, to take documents when he left office. In reality, the Presidential Records Act provides that as soon as a president leaves office, the National Archives becomes the legal custodian of the president's records, which belong to the public. I had every right under the Presidential Records Act. He said, you have the Presidential Records Act where I I was there and I took what I took and it gets declassified. That seems very, very helpful Mm -hmm. legally. It works. Yeah. That's so. At least there was some point of that CNN show, That's, right? Why well, it's a good idea to wow. not let your criminal defendant do a national. In that sense, thank you, CNN, for your horrible judgment, which has backfired disastrously on you. Nothing worse than their judgment is his judgment and what he said. At least Jim Jordan's whistleblowers are solid. Oh, oh, oh no! Have oh, no. <laughs> more gone missing? I'm feeling. I'm feeling justicey today. Yeah. Eric Prince, wasn't he just indicted over yeah, in somewhere? Yeah, I saw that, that tweet. I, uh, arms minute, stealing well, something. Wasn't over that Blackwater's in... CEO? Yes. B- Betsy, uh, B- Betsy, Betsy DeVos's, DeVos's brother. brother. Yes. We got he was indicted? A lot of Democratic And he wins. was also the one that was in the Maldives, remember? Oh, yeah. A lot of Democratic in, in wins. In the Trump Russia stuff. He was, oh. like, he was in the Maldives meeting with Russians. Okay. New mayor of uh, Jacksonville. A lot of Democratic wins. Oh, and this, uh, 17, please. Speaking of being a helper... Trump wrote this a campaign already, ad for this us. Is already in ads. First of all, I'm the one that got rid of Roe v. Wade, and yes. everybody said that was an impossible thing That's to do. Right. I put on three Supreme Court justices. Very few people uh-huh. have been, had that privilege or honor. Fantastic. Thank you for that. That's already used in ads. All we need. Yep. That's the first and last campaign correct. ad that we'll need. That is wildly top popular, Roe v. Wade being overturned. Let me tell you what. Even Nancy Mace isn't on board with that. I feel like, do we deserve all this good luck? I don't know. Jim Jordan. I mean, uh, I mean, does, does this shock you at all? Okay. No, no. The Republican-controlled House Judiciary Committee is set to hear testimony from a pair of FBI whistleblowers. Remember? He's, oh, yeah. So many. Oh, sure. The ones these, that are, have, these, these are, aren't missing. No, not the missing <laughs> ones. <laughs> these are the missing ones. So, so, sadly. So we know where these they, are. They probably wish these would go missing. Um, the ones that allege misconduct at the agency, it turns out, according to a letter sent to the committee, those two individuals recently had their security clearances revoked. 
Both agents specifically lost their clearance in part because of their sympathies for the perpetrators of the January 6th attack. Let's see. One of them, the investigation concluded Friend, that's one of the guys, Stephen Friend, yeah, uh, presented a number of security concerns related to his personnel, personal conduct, handling of protected information, use of information technology, according uh, among friends, troubling conduct is reportedly promoting conspiracy theories about the January 6th attack. Allen, the other one, meanwhile, had his clearance revoked because of concerns about, quote, his allegiance to the United States. That seems bad. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he failed to provide relevant information to an FBI special agent regarding subjects who allegedly were involved in the criminal activity at the Capitol on January 6th. Nicely done, Jim Jordan. So let me get this straight. Let's review. Some whistleblowers, I don't inform, it's just gone missing down near Brainerd. And uh, these have no security clearance because they're such, I don't know, tra- traitors. Traitor slash conspiracy traitors. theorists slash nutbags. Nutbags. That's a good okay. one. I All like right. nutbag. All right. Okay. All right. Where where am I? Oh. Uh. Oh. Hold please. Oh. Um. Marco Rubio also came out uh, uh, after the Durham report and said, "Oh, this is very very serious and must be something." Mehdi Hassan tweets: The Senate Intel Committee, chaired by Marco Rubio, Marco Rubio, found a quote direct tie between senior Trump campaign officials and the Russian intelligence services, and concluded that quote the Russian government engaged in an aggressive effort to influence the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. Thank you. Do they think seriously that we've all been struck in the head and have short term that we don't remember all the convictions and people that went to jail for colluding with Russia? Paul Manafort giving the Russians polling data on the three swing states. We have that, records of all of that. Yes, that Michael Cohen lied about yeah. that they were working on Trump Tower, uh, it's, Moscow. It's and... all in the, in the records. They, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I just think they've repressed those memories because Donald Trump was that scarring well, to them. They're dumb. That too. Oh, God, is this, wait, is the good, the hits just keep on coming? Huh? Special counsel calls for tapes that implicate Ted Cruz and attempts to delay Biden's certification. That was last month. Okay, but I just, I feel month. like, oh, the other thing is these 16 records, I believe some of them, Lordy, are tapes. <laughs> Some of them are not just documents. They're oh. actual recordings. Oh, goodness yes. gracious. Does he throw a ketchup bottle in the background when he's told he can't have them? I don't know. Um, Andrew. Oops. Andrew, I bet you they've replaced everything with packets. I bet you they yes. just told him they don't make bottles Or squeezy anymore. bottles. They don't make bottles squeezy anymore. Bottles. The, the plastic squeezy bottles that you sit upside down. Yeah. I just like him just with like a million little packets just trying to pelting the wall. I kind of like the plastic bottles bouncing off people's heads. Andrew Weissman with a very good point on the Twitterers. He says, uh, MAGA says the FBI is anti-Trump, which ignores that the FBI engaged in a public criminal investigation of Hillary Clinton and repeatedly denigrated her, whereas it stayed quiet as a church mouse regarding a Trump investigation during the 2016 election. Facts uh, are a stubborn thing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Again, do they think we're... I, I Okay. The, and as Rachel Biddecoffer says, provably by polls, that was the last straw, right? It, it, is the... Uh, James Comey thing 11 days before the election. I mean, give me a it was well known. They had an anti-Clinton bias in the yeah. in the FBI and a pro-Trump bias. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. Eric Prince indicted in Austria for trafficking arms to Libya, facing five years in prison. Oh, God. I just, I'm, so, I'm feeling so justice How many hours before Glenn Kirshner's here? 24 oh. and 24 hours and 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Oh, and a Republican guy assaulted someone. Did you see that? Uh, what? Okay. Clay Higgins. In other words, Thursday. Narrow right. it down. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Okay. Which Republican guy? L- Clay Higgins. Okay. Of, is it Louisiana? He's a guy. Oh, on the, the steps yesterday yes, during that whole fracas. Because the guy oh, asked, yeah. you know, tough questions. And, yeah. Okay. Right. Lindy Lee says Republican Clay Higgins assaulted a guy for asking him a yeah. question. Right wing nut job assaulted Paul Pelosi with a hammer. Trump threatened to assault Halvin Bragg with a baseball bat. MAGA assaulted 140 policemen on January 6th. The media st- needs to start treating the GOP like criminal thugs. The, the temperature was turned up on the steps of the Capitol yesterday with all of the. That was a- assault. Did you see right. it? Oh, well, my God. AOC was yelling at Marjorie Taylor Greene. No, Jamal uh, Jamal right. Bowman was yelling at Marjorie Taylor Greene, and AOC was like, oh, don't waste your time on her. She's not worth it. Right, and then uh, the, the, uh, like the reporters were going after George Santos, which in turn caused uh-huh. all of this fracas. It was a whole thing on if, the steps of the You Capitol. know, if yeah. AOC would have just yelled at Jamal Bowman, she's bitey, you know, she that was like that would have been like a message to us. <laughs> 
Thank God for Representative Dan Goldman. Oh, my God. On the Durham investigation again. He established, as did the inspector general, that the initial investigation was open justifiably. Durham doesn't even really quibble with that. He says it should have been preliminary, not a full investigation, which is uh, for the the majority of lay people outside of the Department of Justice, a distinction without a difference. And so it is a, a, a real abomination. And the fact that he wastes 300 pages on this, including so much about the Steele dossier, uh, which the inspector general had also addressed. Uh, is just goes to show how political this is. And it's almost as if the Republicans had their talking points written before the report came out and they ever saw it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then he talked about all the convictions and then one more. I I have no idea what confirmation bias he's talking about when you have either guilty pleas or jury verdicts convicting all of these people in connection with the Russia investigation. And yet you have acquittals essentially across the board in the piddly cases that John Durham brought. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I forgot one more. Uh, Carrie Lake humiliated as star witness instead proves Arizona elections were secure. Yep. I just, all in all, that was a good witness. day. This was just yesterday. That yeah. was her witness that she brought. <laughs> and did what, did she lend it her, her filter, too? No. Nobody no? was filtered in that courtroom. No? And Carrie Lake is not good at this. No, no, yeah, dear. and Carrie oh, Lake dear. looked, looked oh, horrible. Dear. Oh, dear. Carrie Lake looked like Carrie Lake? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you should I mean, you should see Carrie Lake was, without a filter. The Ooh. witness was as reliable as a, as a uh, Jim Jordan witness, whistleblower. Republicans say they won't cut Social Security, Medicare, or Medicaid. But can honest, hard-working, middle-class Americans really believe what these politicians say? Republicans said they wouldn't overturn Roe v. Wade. Here's what Supreme Court Justices Gorsuch, Kavanaugh, and Coney Barrett said during their Senate confirmation hearings. Roe v. Wade is a precedent of the United States Supreme Court. A good judge will consider it as precedent of the United States Supreme Court. Roe v. Wade. It's settled as a precedent of the Supreme Court. Roe is not a super precedent, but that doesn't mean that Roe should be overruled. Well, we saw how that turned out. They played us for fools. Tell your elected officials to keep their hands off of our Social Security and health care benefits. Fool me once. Let Majority Rule was responsible for this message. MajorityRule.org is a project of the Marvin Lucas Super PAC, which is responsible for and paid for this ad and is not affiliated with or authorized by any political campaign or candidate or candidate's committee.